Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCoy. Today's question is, my partner is argumentative while I avoid relationship conflict. How do we make our relationship work? Well, the problem with a couple living in this type of environment is it can become pretty intense at times when you're not on the same page all the time in your partnership it becomes very very hard to communicate because you you're both on opposite ends of the spectrum as to what you're doing how you want to handle something if your partner's constantly in the argumentative state of mind and you just want to shut down and not talk about anything you're going to constantly be butting heads one person's going to be probably always walking away and this is where a lot of relationships end up if they don't get to the bottom of the problem really early on. Now, opposites attract, yes, because, ooh, they're different to me. I like that. So people go and, and try and make things work when it's completely different to how you think. Well, that can be fun for a while, but if you don't learn how to compromise and how to be able to communicate talk, have discussions about things all the time, how are you ever going to be able to connect? You have to find a way to communicate with each other. Now, when someone is trying to find a way to make their relationship work, this is a really good thing because they're not just walking away from every little thing that goes wrong in life. But the problem with it is when you start out with completely different mindsets, it's really hard to mesh the two together because you're both stubborn with what you believe in. And this is where it becomes a huge problem when you are so disconnected in the communicative sort of realm of things. You want to be able to sit down and have a normal conversation with each other. And that means not arguing and not ignoring each other, which is what's happening in this case. I always suggest that if you're at this stage with somebody and you really want to try and make things work, because you're so different in your beliefs, it comes probably from somewhere early on in your life. So it's probably stuck or deep rooted inside of you. And it's really hard to get rid of that. If you don't know where it comes from, that's even worse because you're not going to be able to find, find a solution for why you think that way, why you feel that way. If you're mature, a mature couple who truly loves each other and wants to make it work, I really strongly advise you to go and get some couples counseling. It doesn't have to be a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of sessions. It's just about sitting down and finding out the foundation of where you both come from originally. Because when you're stuck in a certain way in life and you don't budge from that, there's something that happened and you need to find out how to make it work for you. There's ways of compromising in a relationship, even if you have really strong beliefs. People do it all the time in religious situations or different cultures. It can happen, but you have to not be stubborn about trying to find a way to make it work. You really need to figure out why you are so stuck in this sort of situation, why you feel so strongly, why are you so opposite, and even better yet, what attracted you towards each other? Because there's something that you admire and love about that your, your partner, because you're both so different. So maybe there's a little bit of each, each other, you can teach each other a little bit about something. Maybe there's something in there that you wish you could be a bit more like and they, same for them. That's why you go to a, a, a counseling session and find out the root of it because Nobody wants to be argumentative. Nobody wants to be emotionally unavailable and removed. How does that work in any situation in life? You don't want to be always having conflict in your life with everybody you come in contact with because if you're that way at home, you're probably that way at work or with friendships or whatever else you're doing activity-wise. 
So this is something you want to resolve and get to the bottom of because it is really important not to be stuck in any certain situation. We all need to understand that we have things we need to work on and we need to change. And that's the best part of evolving as a person because you can. You don't have to stay stuck and you don't have to have relationships constantly falling apart due to the same reason. The one thing I've learned being married twice, <laughs> you kind of have to pick your battles. You got to understand when to let go of things. You also have to be equally invested in each other to make things work. If one person's willing to be more accommodating and willing to make the changes and the other one isn't, that's only going to work for a very short time. If you're both invested, you're both going to be doing the work to keep things going. And that's what a, re a reciprocated, loving relationship is all about. It's about being very, very reciprocated with how you treat each other, how you feel about each other, and what you're willing to do to keep the relationship flowing. So in closing to this discussion, we all want to feel heard. We all want to feel validated. Nobody is always right. So you both have time to, to put your opinions out there and be heard. Let each other have their say and work around it. Because no, as I say, you don't want to have this complete opposite situation. If somebody's always picking a fight, it gets really old and it's not a safe place to come home to anymore. So thanks for writing because I think this is such a good topic because so many people end up in these kind of situations. And this is why I always stress it's very important when you're deciding on spending your life with somebody that you're both emotionally available. There's no anger. There's not a lot of drama from a past and toxic stuff hanging around. You've done your homework. You've gone and talked to somebody about it to get rid of the bigger cobwebs that are stuck because this is what's going on in this relationship. And once you sort it out and find out the root of it, I'm telling you, you, you'll be able to salvage it and you'll be able to take baby steps to start to find a way to make it work. Sometimes it's just a matter of changing that old dialogue that's stuck in your belief within you. And once you can get rid of that and see a little clearer and a little more open-minded, that's when you'll be able to connect with each other and understand why each other was the way they were and just keep moving forward together. So thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments you have below. Please click like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Anytime you want any show topics uh, for me to do, please leave them also in the comments section. Thanks so much. Bye everyone.